please excuse the sound of the printer in the background. I'm just printing off belly bands, but I thought I'd just show you the fruits of my labor for the last few days. I've got some strictly yarn back there. I've got a little pile of Christmas yarn and then all of the rest of it is Halloween orders. So we've got the new colorway Pinky Punky and new colorway Frankie. And we've got Glow Spook. We've got some Spell on You, some Jelloween, a bit of Malloween, quite a bit of witchy long stockings, some trick or treat and the other new colorway Witchy Woo, quite a lot of that. So I'll be parceling orders up this afternoon. Um, the advents are still in an unfinished state, but they will be all packaged up later on today and everything will be going to the post office Monday morning. Thought I'd just show you the bits and bobs that I bought from the um, lovely Hassop Station shop earlier today. It was very early actually. We went there because Johnny um, Johnny's a runner these days and he likes to do park runs on Saturday mornings and he does one on the Monsell Trail which is and it starts from and finishes at Hassop Station so um, sometimes I hitch a, a ride with him and go for a little treat so I uh, I got these lovely acorns for my um, Halloween tree and I'll take them off of this string and um, so that they can hang individually rather than a group um, and I'll put some pretty ribbon on them I didn't buy a lot. I could have spent, I said to Ivy, I could have spent easily 100 quid just on Halloween stuff. And then they've got a small corner of Christmas stuff as well. Let me just take this out of the packaging so that you don't get the glare. I got this, which is really cute. It's too big to go on the tree, but I'll find somewhere really lovely for it to be in a little while. Oh, excuse me. And as well as this, as one for me, I also bought one for each of the Halloween giveaway prizes. So if you enter, you might win one of these lovely little signs. So I'm going to tuck them away in the bag and make a little prize corner in the craft room somewhere. Keep them nice and safe. Now, all you need to do to enter the competition is to... Um, go to the link underneath the video um which is for my um email mailing list go on there and join the mailing list and at the end of vlogtober i'm going to draw two winners a first prize and a second prize i don't know whether there'll be a first prize and a second prize actually i don't know why i keep saying that actually i'm just going to draw two winners and they're both going to have a similar a similar amount of things in the same amount of things in but they might have slight variations like one might have one halloween colorway and the other one might have the other halloween colorway excuse me anyway that was rather blathery wasn't it um but i'm going to go and put these safely away now and um i've been working all afternoon and johnny's just got back from morrison's and we're having a snacky tea, which I'm very much looking forward to. Then the children and I are going to watch bed knobs and broomsticks as a Saturday night treat. Well, I'm all settled down. I've got my crochet ready. I managed to finish this orange section last night and do the first couple of rows of this purple and orange. Lovely. But then I was falling asleep. The bed knobs and broomsticks is ready. I'm just waiting for Ivy to put her pyjamas on. Johnny's making me a nice cup of decaf coffee and we're going to settle down for the night. <laughs> we're going to settle down for the night, watch a film and then I'm going to have an early night. So good night everybody. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye bye.